Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I was just asked to share this uh, information for our Canadian friends. We see it all the time in America and probably everywhere in the world, but this is documented proof of uh, the elitist in Calgary, uh, or one of them anyway, trying to control the election. So I'm going to let this play for you. The link will be below, and uh, go ahead and remix this for our Can Canadian friends as well. Global News has obtained a recording of a meeting hosted by one of Calgary's most prominent home builders. It outlines a plan to control city council in the next election. Doug Vason has more in this NewsHour exclusive. There are some people that are on the city council that are totally out of control. This video of a meeting held last November shows Cal Wenzel, the founder of Shane Homes, outlining a plan to get council under control by the next election. Let's start with uh, Ward 1. Speaking to a group apparently made up of 150 building professionals, Wenzel runs through a list of councillors he approves of and says he is supporting with campaign donations. Uh, Keating we've looked after, Diane we've looked after, Keating them all. Those he wants replaced. Uh, Drew Farrell, uh, Jesus, Jay didn't send any money to do either. And those he's unsure of. At uh, one time where Bookins was kind of guided as to, you know, maybe vote for us when it comes up, and then he forgot to ask any questions and forgot to vote the right way. Wenzel says millions of dollars a year are at stake for developers. So unless we get somebody in there that's really going to, uh, you know, be more on our side than the, uh, than the dark side, you know, we're talking another four years after next October. And he doesn't think Nahed Nenshi, the most popular mayor in the country, can be defeated. Dimitri asked me a question a little, a little earlier on. Can anyone beat Nancy? And I said, no, likely not. Instead, the plan appears to be to fund developer-friendly candidates and defeat the mayor by outvoting him in council. When I talked to Dave Ronconye, Dave is sitting there saying, it doesn't matter if you got the mayor on your side or not. You need eight votes. So as long as you have eight votes, you can control whatever happens. In addition to what he says, the former mayor told him, Wenzel also talks about a major donation to a right-wing think tank, founded by former federal opposition leader Preston Manning. Keeping in mind, you in order to uh, bring Preston on board, 11 of us put up 100,000, so a million one. So it's not like we haven't put, put up our money uh, you know, and we're going to be there to put it up again, and we're yet yeah, we're also supporting the candidates. The That's tape, released by a source Global News has agreed to protect, is prompting strong reactions. I think it is the smoking gun. It's clear that there's an expectation from the developers that you will you will do our bidding, and there'll be no independent. We will tell you how to vote. But to actually see this live, um, captured on tape in this way, I mean, look, it's very distasteful. And as viewers watch this, I think that they would agree that this is shadowy and weird and unpleasant. Doug joins us now for some context on this. And Doug, why is Wenzel so upset? Linda, it comes down to the cost of growth and who pays for what. On the video, Wenzel says things have changed and builders have to pay attention now. The city says it needs more sustainable growth and things can't continue as in the past old way of doing things simply won't work any longer. We are reaching, if we haven't already reached a fiscal cliff with the cost of growth. I have no idea what this small group of extremely wealthy individuals is so mad about. Our housing starts are really healthy. They all admit that the industry is extremely profitable. Nancy is also calling for an investigation into possible wrongdoing based on what he's seen in the video. Tomorrow we'll explain why and bring reaction from those Cal Wenzel names during what was recorded of the meeting. Linda? Thanks, Doug. You're welcome. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, you know, it happens everywhere, but uh, go ahead and share this for our Canadian friends. And again, links will be below. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.